Good evening. I'm here. I uh, didn't think I was going to be, but I am. Uh, I got my, my shots, my flu shot in my left arm, and my uh, COVID booster in my right arm, and uh, not feeling too shitty. My arms are sore, but hey, uh, the streams must go on. Beep. <laughs> See, I did a long stream yesterday, and I was debating on whether or not I was going to stream at all today, but I'm, I'm good, so I think I will. And uh, this is Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, and not the other way around, despite what the title screen says here. So, uh, I'm dropping a few frames, but not many. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is the first of two games that I'm doing for October this year. I, I haven't done kind of like a Halloween-themed thing in a while. And, uh, truth be told, this isn't really Halloween-themed or scary. It's just kind of a dark game. So I figured, why not? Let's do it now. Um, if you remember, I streamed Danganronpa 2 at the end of last year into the beginning of this year. It was kind of my December... Sl it was m more my January game than my December game. But it was the, uh... It was the primary game that I, I played that month. And uh, I really liked it. I didn't stream Danganronpa 1 because um, I'd already seen like a full playthrough of it. And that playthrough is what got me curious, so I decided to play 2. And I was told that before I move on to 3, I have to both watch the anime... Sorry, V3. I have to watch the anime and I have to play this game, which takes place between 1 and 2. Uh, it is not a courtroom visual novel simulator like the first, like the other games. This is actually, I think, like a third person... Uh, shooter. Also, the sound effects are really loud, sorry. I tested this out a bit earlier, but, uh, this is the first time I'm gonna be trying, like, to actually play it. Uh, so there's an easy mode, so I think genocide mode is easy, despair mode is hard. I'm not gonna bother with that, we're doing normal, yeah, pew pew. Working hard for a normal girl mode, super ultra pumped genocide jack mode, and an ultra despair mode. I order you to choose the difficulty level. So this is entirely mouse and keyboard, so you're going to be hearing clacking. Um, not the weirdest difficulty names you've seen, yeah? Yeah, from... <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so I'm not feeling too crappy from the uh, from the vaccines, so hopefully uh, it won't interfere with the stream. If it gets bad, I will cut it short. Have you heard of European Extreme? Uh, that's Devil May Cry, I believe? No. Or yes. Or is that Mega Man? Devil May Cry has hell or hell mode, I know that. First, let's set up your camera. Oop. No, 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 we don't want to auto. How do I How do I back the auto out? Okay, X. Metal Gear, that was it. This can be changed in options later on, so choose the one you like for now. Okay, again, I'm a little... I don't know which button... Shift, okay. Uh, from the little bit I tried of this, I'm doing manual, because auto is, like, really janky. It's just click. L left click for yes. It's, again... Not really a mouse and keyboard guy. According to what I've heard, the world is round. There's no subtitles either, unfortunately. Is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. Is this Super Mario Galaxy? No. I've never actually yes, seen it most is. Things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge Burr. and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. Also, yes, the edge of the screen is black. There's just like a weird, like, gap. I don't know why. This is windowed. This is in full screen. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. 
Okay, so already, um, Komaru, Nayegi is the name of the main character from the first game. And I believe she's, she's, uh, Makoto's little sister. humans can adapt. Yeah, you're under house arrest. I learned arrest. that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. Regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> of course. That's either a very powerful robot or that door was not as strong as it looked. <clears throat> it's him! Target name, age 15 to 17. I didn't get to read the rest of that. Okay. So already I gotta get used to this. <laughs> um this is a this is a mouse and keyboard shooter. It's wa wasid and and mouse. I don't quite know and shift. Shift makes you run faster, but so does I think left clicking? Yeah, it does. Okay. Lucky it's not you in this situation. You'd be more excited. <laughs> I don't think I'd be more... I don't think I'd be excited to see Bear with giant claw... Whoa! Okay. Let's eat there. Cookies? Those look like good cookies. I'm kind of hungry, actually. So yes, as I mentioned, uh, this takes place. I think. Why is there a fire? I can't get through. 
Oh, there is, uh, there's subtitles. There is, this takes place between Danganronpa 1 and 2. Uh, I streamed 2 earlier this year. And I did not stream 1, but I've seen all of 1. <laughs> a bear? A black and white bear? Oh god, I really gotta, really gotta get used to this. <laughs> What's menu? Q? No, escape. Okay. It's a bit weird. A bit touchy. Kamaru Naegi. Likes girls manga, whatever's trending, dislikes lightning, rainy season. Height 5'4", weight 108. Vitals 33 inches? What? Date of birth, May 31st, blood type A. A normal girl, little sister to the ultimate hope, Makoto Naegi. Doesn't have any special talents. Has been imprisoned in the Toa City apartment for a year and a half. Oh, okay. Uh, so you can use the arrow keys here, but also... WASD. It's a bit weird. Uh, Turn that up a little bit. I've already tested all these. I think it's all good to just keep as is. It's also weird to see this game in, like, full 3D when Danganronpa 1 and 2 use, like, 2D cutouts and, uh, like, live 2D tweening and stuff. Not really live 2D. Live 2D is fairly new. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Rich boy is here. See his transcript, okay. What was the button that, uh... Yeah, there we go. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? So this definitely takes place after one. Was correct. However, because ba Byakuya was one of the people stuck in the first game. What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. Can you do the butt thing? A riot? What butt thing? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? Him? He? Who? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Of course, just huh? avoid dropping her brother's name. Oh god, there's lots of them. Should. Do you really have an option other than run? Yeah, not gun. It's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It's a megaphone. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these monokumas. Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Ooh, that guy's dead in the front. Absolutely. But where would I go? 
A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here! Every time I hear during Nirvana, I should start sentence with but Sean mixed in with, the, with another clip. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't seen his streams of uh, Somnium Files. Come to think of it, I don't really- He doesn't archive his streams, so I don't really watch him in general. You're so lost. Yeah, no, don't worry. None of this is gonna make any sense. They'll probably explain it, but... Oh, there we go. The trademark Danganronpa purple blood. Yeah, this is, uh, Pig Boy. That's me, Pig Boy. People are just eating. Welcome. A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Yes, now please! Oh, the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. <sighs> Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... <laughs> What the fuck? Do they really not realize that was happening outside? Because this is after Danganronpa 1. It, it, like, the world's kind of fucked. How did they not know about this? See, Plank, I told you teddy bears would take over the world, and they have. Apparently not. Luckily, we prepared for this day. This looks like a pretty nice restaurant for a place called the Pig Boy. Let me tell you. It's time for a tutorial! If you press the right mouse button, you ready the hacking gun. Was that bear back there? Oh, I didn't see. The mouse focuses the reticle. If you press the left mouse button with the gun out, you'll fire the truth bullet. Pressing the F key opens the truth bullet selection. Oh no, we're already getting into confusing territory here. You could switch truth bullets with the 1 to 8 key. You can also switch truth bolts outside of the menu with the 1 to 8 key. Try using all the multi-colored truth bolts against the Monokumas. This makes no sense! Why is this happening? This gun is amazing! I got an achievement already. Okay, so this lets me pause and, and pick. Uh, except not really. Wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Okay, I can't do- Oh, F attacks. Point and shoot, truth bullets, yeah. 
God, that's loud. I'm definitely gonna get out of here. Okay, hold on one second. No oh, options. So what else? One to eight. Ready, shoot. Aim movement, okay. It's really weird. That sound is so loud. It's like in your ear, too. You press F to attack. Oh, he's still alive afterwards. Detect? Well, it says I have unlimited of each. I wonder if that's if that's different uh, in a higher difficulty. Dance? Dance off. Okay, I guess that's used for distracting. Move? It's so weird, you can't use the WASD keys for that. That does nothing. Combustion. Jeez, enough already. I'm guessing you must get, um... Hey, Rebel Collie, thank you for the raid! Reveal. Okay, that just holds up a screen. Hey, how you doing? So I don't know what move does, but... Does it just push him back? No. Alright, whatever. Hey, hey, how you doing? What are you playing? What if you shoot objects with move? Oh, interesting. What is this? Hmm. What is going on? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes, control's really, really weird to me. <laughs> it's <a> TV. Hello, hello. How you doing? Ba, 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 ha, ha, I'm a zombie. <laughs> I'm gonna eat ya. Oh no, please don't eat me. Oh, this is fucked up. Hey, Masaru. Do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you style is important for this kind of thing. <laughs> What? Hey, play with what me. are these kids doing with that body? Hey, what are you doing? Be more serious. Didn't I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Nagisa. Stop that! Don't come over here! nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye. It's a bit weird.
All right, we're in it. It's there's definitely inconsistencies that are lining up with uh, the story, given the point in the timeline this is. But really interesting to find out uh, how that gets resolved. So I was let. So I'm led to believe at this point in the t at this point the, the timeline's kind of uh, that timeline. The world's kind of fucked. Uh, shit went down, and it's just pure pure chaos everywhere. Kuro Kuma. Shiro Kuma. Curious, Saru Daimon. Yeah, most of these are new characters. I, I don't know any of these except for Toko, that girl they showed at the beginning. Well, Saru Daimon is a Digimon crossover. <laughs> yeah, her, Toko. She's in the first game. So was Byakuya, that guy we saw at the beginning. And as I said, the main character is, uh, the main character of the first game's, uh, little sister. Prologue. The Warriors of Hope. So already I'm seeing something weird here, because they're working for Monokuma, and Monokuma's whole thing wasn't hope, so... A certain incident completely changed the world. Here we go. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. It's that school on the right. Eventually, with the, uh, orange the bricks. incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. <laughs> but it's in the end, end, it has to be this I way. Seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house. And separated me from my Oh, interesting. Family. So the incident well, started before she was kidnapped. That moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. I got a new item in my inventory. It's probably a trading card. At the end of that despair, was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize. Once again. So essentially, world's fucked right now. Everyone essentially lost their shit because of an incident at Hope's Peak Academy. Um, if you saw me play Danganronpa 2 earlier this year, uh, that game kind of goes into the full story of what exactly happened and why the world ended up turning to shit. The it's interesting because the first game doesn't explicitly say that. It's just implied at the end of it. But the second game makes it very clear what happened, and she just kind of she just kind of spelled it out for us right here as well. So she she gave us the quick version. Though these robots were not part of this originally, to my knowledge, at least. Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. <laughs> I gotta run. That's right. 
That Byakia guy said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Man, these corpses. Yeah, this game, the series. Here. Well. Supposed to be here. I guess it's different because this is in 3D, but uh, if you haven't seen a Danganronpa game, they are very graphic in terms of what they show when people die. But the rule is always never show red blood. The blood's always going to be like purple. That suit. It's the same as that Byakuya guy's. Are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? How did you know? I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a... Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. Future Foundation but, A. What about you? <laughs> Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I... I'm sorry. Hey, over here. I'll take you all on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The town. It's in ruins. Oh, there's no, uh. That's interesting. Dad! Mom! Makoto! I can't even ready the weapon here. What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where's Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He, he told me to run, so I, I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please, you have to go save him! Yeah, nah. Understood. I'll go back for him. Oh, never mind. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. Why do you sound exactly off, like Bianca? We're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's what they call this. That's 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 not it's even more than just an incident. A description. That's literally what the incident is called. Of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. The troll ones. Because of all this, the world just crumbled. I mean, kinda. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Oh, and as for this town, Are you alright? I don't know if Uchikoshi actually, uh, actually worked on no. this. I'm not sure. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. I know he's this friends with the person who made the, the Dengarapa series, and he worked, he's worked with them. Corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls so it. This is an island. 
Kamara's an island girl. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air. Ah, uh, so that's the excuse we're using, like, isolated island off, off of wherever. Terra Grigia, like, uh, like Resident Evil Revolutions. That's a game I would like to stream at some point. The clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... singing? Over there! <laughs> A kid? Get back! Oh, uh, well, I guess that guy's dead. This way. Metal face means you. <laughs> He's making dog noises. Well, shit. Ah, I guess that's the end of the game. Robots so advanced they could operate vehicles, yeah. Alright, so this is like a real Danganronpa game, and the fact that there's a lot of downtime in it between gameplay segments. How did she survive that? There's no way she'd be able to do that. Lots and lots of bears. Hey. Can you hear me? Oh no! Are you okay? Oh no, I know that voice. You need this many for one girl? Well, again, she's the sister of the main character of the first game, so... Can't be too careful. <gasps> you look completely exhausted. It's him. Who... who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all... I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots. That's a fat on lie. Top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, 
They allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. There is a reason he's wearing a glove over his other hand. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. Can I have that so present next to you? What is that? What are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. Oh, hey, my megaphone. Thank you. I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. Sounds like something out of Mega Man Battle Network. Too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Thank you for breaking the fourth wall. Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. <laughs> However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. Creep you alert! <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but... I'll be going on ahead. You're not wrong, but when you saw me play the end of Danganronpa 2, you, you were like, I want him to date the main character. I remember you were like you were there when I finished Danganronpa 2 and I remember you were like I want him and the main character to date or to get together. E for pickup. Well, right now he's creepy like. Time for another tutorial. You looks like you obtained move. Move is a truth bolt that can activate some machines using super powered hacking magic. Oh okay. So uh Ephraim was absolutely right here. Right in the money. Uh how do I just forward this with that okay sh shift. Try it on that power panel with the red light. I don't know what's going on. I'm wondering if this is an AU. I don't know either. You can press F to change ammo. I don't think this is an AU. I think this takes place between 1 and 2. That's what I've been told, at least. Okay, so we do have unlimited... Oh, I could... Oh, my, my mouse comes on screen. Okay. I didn't notice that. Never seen a dang and rompa game yourself. Yeah. It's unlocked. But I'm scared. Oh, this is again, this is really awkward for me. Now that you've put some time in with the hacking gun, let me tell you something. The red uh, left the red left eye is a weak point for all Monokumas. Shoot that weak point with break, and most Monokumas will go down with one shot. Plus after you get a weak point, break will ammo will give you one power shot. That's one hell of a shot, and it's one that's way stronger than regular break. And that's killing two birds with one stone. If you think you're so hot, why not try me aiming for the weak point? 
Yeah, again, I've played Danganronpa 2 and seen Danganronpa 1, and this still is confusing me. Piggy bank. Uh, okay. Yeah, these controls are not the most intuitive. Or did you get locked out? Yeah. Okay, I just have to look at the circle as like a 1 through 8 scenario type thing, and I could... Wait, can I use the, uh... The numpad? No, I can't. I wanted a mechanical keyboard with a number pad, and it doesn't work when I wanted to. Cool. Oh, it's them. Ding dong, bing bong. You, you're those kids. The kids who were on TV. Oh, man. I'm famous. I'd autograph your back any time. <laughs> I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back too. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the Does mood a scroll for wheel things? work. That's a good However, question. Also, hey, verbatim, I don't know if I said hi before. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. What? Welcome, big sis. I'm so happy you came, meow. Um... Uh... Oh, that's right. Big Sis doesn't know us yet. Well, I guess we should start with introductions. All right, let's start with me, the leader. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope, Hero Class Masaru Daimon. I always give 100%. My favorite class was gym, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. Aha! A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impressed myself. F for intro, I don't know what that... <laughs> You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. Also, why is their text a different font? Rock, paper, scissors? Doesn't matter. I'm still the leader. I won, so I'm the leader. The leader! Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the vice leader of sorts. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. My name is Nagisa Shingetsu. In the Warriors Oh, it Hope, actually is a different I scene if you could. leader and sage. When I attended elementary school, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Of course, social studies is but one area of my expertise. I excel at all scholarly. That's interesting. It's like a, an extended I version. I was social studies because I was raised to be among society's elite. And I suppose I am a babysitter of sorts for the Warriors of Hope. Monica excluded. Huh? Hope's Peak? You mean... that Hope's Peak? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I... I I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the academy. <laughs> Such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Um, who was I gonna say? Priest. Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Kamori. 
You know how when you stare into moving bicycle spokes, you get all scared? Like, for some reason, you imagine how painful it would be to put your hand in. Oh, um, my name is Jotaro Kamuri, and for skin isn't yummy no matter how you cook it. Okay. I was really good at arts and crafts, so they called me a little ultimate art. If it's arts and crafts, leave it to me. I cover them with nails and varnish and things. I do the priest thing for the warriors of hope. Oh, and also, I wonder if aliens exist. And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art. So they're little ultimates. That's interesting. You said what I was gonna say. You've gone crazy, haven't you? I think I'm gonna go crazy by the end of this. I wish I could scratch it raw, reach inside and scrape my nails on it. Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long. Wow, soldier kids committing murder, what the fuck, um, yeah. Well, so it's anyway, Metal Gear Solid all over again. Jotaro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe! Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Kotoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. Ahoy! A girl! My name is Kotoko Utsugi, and I play the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. You might think the fighter would be a boy, but nope, I'm totally a girl. I love girly things and peeled chestnuts. If it's totally adorbs, I love it! And I was pampered as a little ultimate drama in elementary school. But who cares about that old stuff? I'm so happy to meet you. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? I'm gonna go to Zanzibar, play the anthem. <laughs> I have to I have to take the shape changing okay, key into the uh, the sauna. We gotta, we gotta find Holly White. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies. Monica is a maid. Monica is called Monica. Monica's a mage in the Warriors of Hope. Those eyes. I was known as Little Ultimate Homeroom while I was in elementary school. You might think there are no ultimates and commons in a class like Homeroom, but there are. For me, my skill isn't really about uniting people. It's about getting them all to help me. Believe it or not, I bring together a lot of wonderful people. It would be nice if you could be a wonderful person for Monica too. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom! The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts... See, homeroom wasn't something that was every day when I went to school. It wasn't even in grade school, it was only high school. Right? With demons and kings? Joking around? I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Just kids? Huh? Menacing. Aww. 
That's the only thing I can say. Just aw. All their eyes look interesting. We were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered like the sound of bloody chopped meat. <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages. <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our monokumas? So the ones controlling those monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The monokumas obey any order we give them. Hmm. All thanks to Monica's magic. So yeah, this is what Luka was up to before MGS1. Magic even without magic circles! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Monica's smile is so adorbs! Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up! N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made up children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? I think in the psyche and the fact that they don't understand what they're exactly they're doing until much later, I have no idea. But can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to make any sense. That's all. If Monica wants it, it happens. That's how it is. Uh-oh. This is bad. Monica's mad. It's going to be all right, Monica. Please, don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black. Cats are dogs and, um... What else? Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? <laughs> yeah, hey, counter, counter dog. They're all going to be Monica adults someday. Mad. play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. <laughs> it was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the Warriors of Hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun. And our very own Monica came up with it. See, Monica? We're going to play our special game. No need to be upset hey, now. Hey, TJ, how you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, from last, yesterday's raid. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for following, too. No. Uh, I was gonna have to kill themselves when they hit that age, so yeah. Hurry up and prepare the device. They're exempt, maybe. I don't know. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay, then. Now we're ready. All right, let's go hunting. W wait, wait, hold on. This is a prank, isn't it? Yeah, Spike Trunsoft does, does love exploding bracelets. We've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. 
For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I, I just get killed immediately, and that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. All right. Die, that is. Uh, 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 hey, no talking without the leader's permission. You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut. <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it. Why? What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, you're too funny. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt. We play the games because they're fun. Duh. That's the only reason. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Huh. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. But to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. There is still much work to be done to build our paradise. Yet, here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants it done, so it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Y yeah, thank you. Hey, sour cream. Pumpkin stew I cooked and brew. Hear me cackle as I mix it through vinegar and salt and pepper, too. This lunch is made for two. <laughs> made pumpkin scoop stew, by the way. That sounds delicious. I love pumpkin soup, so pumpkin stew is probably really good, too. My dude, you were one of those kids. <laughs> What about me? You can eat my cookies. Wait, how can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're, you're not normal. Mm, of course, an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? Put that cookie down now. Also, Kamaru Naegi, in your current situation, you don't have a right to say a thing. It's not her name is Mon. It's, it's not spelled like a Japanese name because it wouldn't be C A. It'd be K A. What? You are not on a path. You are falling into an abyss. Speak up. Darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this. And floor open up. Yep. I learned this trick from Excel Saga, yeah. Wait, what the hell? Where did you... Oh, it's like a... What the fuck is that? Flying boat ship? A child's ears are... Wonderful ears! A child's eyes are... A 
adorable eyes. A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! Why is it so big? To gobble up the demons! I like how they didn't sync them up there. This particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my! It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter! At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me! The <laughs> SMB the oh, rear no. shift, yeah. It doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great. Someone go buy some. Leader's orders. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. Their mouths are so big we could <laughs> shove so bars in there and clean them. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist, with your lack of distinct characteristics. So common, so dull, so boring. Prologue of the Warriors of Hope. End. I've got my- I still got the two cotton balls and, and band-aids on my arms, and it still hurts where I was, uh, stuck. Achievement unlocked. Rented rooms, nightmare hotels. Yes, please save data. Chapter 1. Crying for love in hell. Again, I'm, I'm sore, but not, no other side effects just yet. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. Oof. Oh, yeah, I got my flu and COVID booster today. Flu shot and COVID booster. A uh, combination of both. And my arms are sore. Yeah, yeah, I got them both at the same time. <laughs> they said you might as well. I don't know if I'll get sick from it, though. Wait, because of the plan is Trichy stands out the best from chance from all this, whatever it is. No, that's that servant guy is kind of obsessed with talent. So. Oh, hey. It's her. Scissors, 61. Explaining this character would not only require you to know the first game, but also would just take a while to explain.
Uh, um... Yes, madame? What business do you have with me? Uh, are you... here to rescue me? The anime speed runs the character lore, at least, yeah. Dekomaru, was it? It's Komaru. Dekomaru? And where's Master Byakuya? You know where he is, right? Huh? That gun you're holding... Oh, it's dripping with the Master's scent! You can... smell it? You got a death wish or something? Hiding Master from me will cut your life expectancy! N no, 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 I'm, I'm not hiding it! Ten, nine, eight, seven... What are you doing? If you don't give me my Master by the time I get to zero, I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi! Four, three, two... Oh, hold on! I really don't know it. Tell me, you're Kamaru Nagi, aren't you? I got it, right? It's it's fun uh, watching people I just be very confused that. by this. No. Did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know. I don't share memories with her. Her? Uh, memories? Is that an orgasm or a sneeze? Yeah, That's a good question. Stop saying stuff that makes no sense. Everything is confusing enough as it is. You can call me your ally. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked! It, it's alright. Huh? No, it's... it's alright. I can do it, because I made a promise... with him. <laughs> to Toko! He, he has... Attention, Toko's fantasy. Oh my god. Oh, that ability. It's not a curse, it's a talent. Huh. He looks like Sanji. An amazing talent at Holt. Huh. Incredible possibilities. Yeah, Byakuya would never do that. Master, thank you. Thank you very much. Master that talent. Do it for me. I think it's okay. I think they're adults now. It's fine, I guess. Like I, I don't said, know. it will be all right. I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. This ain't no Rose Manga show manga show them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. Let's go. Um oh Omaru Naegi. Omaru? It's time for a tutorial! If you press the C key, you will switch with Genocide Jack. That's... That's the serial killer version's name. Not only does she not take damage, but she uses super strong attacks as well. Press left mouse button to attack and shift to evade. Hold the left mouse button for a special skill. Also, you can focus enemies with the right mouse button, and if you press either the space or control key, you can unleash a super powerful slash lust. Feel free to try it out. This girl's Kagami's kid, yeah. Shift evades. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Right mouse plus space. Oh, okay. Oh, but Komaru could still take damage. Hold left mouse for special. Ah, alright. So how did you like using Genocide Jack? Go, Mommy Scissorhands, go! Oops, I forgot to mention, there is a time limit for using Genocide Jack. Use up the batteries in the top left of the screen, you'll automatically revert to Toko. Also, you can't just slash less limitly, limitlessly. Charge the Lust Gauge on the bottom right, and once fully charged, you could use Slash Lust. The Lust Gauge fills up on Genocide Jack defeats enemies. Do a single one-gauge attack with the right mouse button plus space key. Do a three-gauge combo with the right mouse button plus control key. You can go back to Kamara with C key at any time, so be smart during battle. I think I need an adult. We are the adult, sort of. I mean, she's only 15 or 17. Between 15 or 17, apparently. I have to see if there are. I think there are controller options for this game, so I might have to look into that. Don't speak to me so casually, like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. But you still haven't told me your name. I'm sure you're just going to forget it right away. But it's Toko Fukawa. Toko. Oh, sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? I, I don't think that at all. And anyway, what was that all about earlier? You were a completely different person. I couldn't tell you. What? I d don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um, I don't really get it. Ugh, it's like I said, I have a split personality. That girl was Genocide Jack. Okay? You, you don't believe me, right? You think I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head. You're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk, aren't you? I don't think that. Well, maybe the first bit? I mean, it's true that it's a little hard to believe, and I was pretty surprised. But if that's what you say, I believe you. It was a pretty drastic change, after all. Ouch, Savage, yeah. Um, but, I mean, it is worth noting, <clears throat> prior to the events of the Danganronpa series, Genocide Jack, the reason she's called that is because she was a serial killer. Like, she has legitimately murdered people before the events of this game. It's just that because of all the circumstances surrounding, um, you know, her identity and just all the shit happening, she ends up becoming, a, like, a, a, a good guy because she's obsessed with, um, she's obsessed with Byakuya. So Byakuya is essentially keeping her on a leash by, like, saying, like, I order you to be a good guy or I order you to help out. So it's, it's really, it's really messed up. You believe me just like that? What are you, stupid or something? Well, what was I supposed to say? Well, if you really are this stupid, that just makes this easier. It's just... I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. I... I see. So, you still remember... Isn't that something else? Now? What? No point in hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back then. Oh, here we go. After all. Talk shows? Wait. Be? No. Never mind. Couldn't be. What? It's just... Uh, I feel like I've heard a similar name on the you dress it right now. Serial killer. Yeah, that's the one. What? But that was just in the old days. I, I've 
completely tamed her since then. Mm. Master commanded me to discover the secret, and I learned the stun gun does the trick. And, depending on how much shock I give myself, after a while I go back to my normal self. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Byakuya. Uh, anyway, it seems like a good skill to have. With that power, we can Tamed is an easy. understatement, yeah. D don't be dense. Huh? Didn't I just say I need Oof. the stun gun to change? My brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? Anyway, what is your relationship with Master Byakuya? Hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? I, I was saved by him earlier. He gave this gun to me. Saved? Master Byakuya saved you? Uh-oh. I will. I will protect Komaru Naegi. I swear it on my life. No. I swear in the name of the Togami family! You better not get ahead of yourself. Just because you're ugly. In a... in a cute way. Why are you angry? <laughs> Remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm going to rescue Master. And then, in the heat of the moment, we'll... <sighs> yeah, Shitoko's kind of fucked up. Huh? Don't worry. Rescue? This is absolutely hey, as on. fucked up as, as some of these characters Patrick? get. What, you just figured that out? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? He was probably ambushed by cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I... I see. So, he was caught after all. You better not feel responsible for this. Your guilt would be an insult to my Master. You're right. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? Can't believe I gotta take this indecisive girl. What was that? N nothing. And watch your mouth. I'm so terribly sorry. It's fine. You're a lost cause anyway. Okay. But more importantly, I want to hurry up and find Master. Now is not the time to relax. You're right. We've got to get out of this building. Bruh. Well then, after you. Huh? Bruh. Why do I have to go first? You have Master's gun, don't you? But don't worry. When you're really in trouble, I'll save you. I can't have you dying. Yeah, Toko in a nutshell is just... Come on! Stop staring off into space and get moving already! You're not dead yet. Fine. What is this? Training potty? Well, <laughs> if it isn't your little buddy, maybe you should try riding on it. Hey, who are you calling a baby? You're offended, but you're still gonna ride it? Huh. This is surprisingly relaxing. <laughs> and you thought Seriously? you were sussy. <laughs> okay, so it's a save button. Nice uh, sonic ring noise there. Anything hidden? Secrets, maybe? That's a noise. <laughs> I like that, she ducks out of the way. Very Resident Evil 4 of this game. I don't think I've ever played a shooter on stream before, either. I think this might be my first one. Wait, no. What am I saying? Well, no, I've played Resident Evil 2 and 3. I've never... I haven't played any, like, modern Resident Evil games on stream. Okay, so that's a save point. That's a good time to, uh, check my shit here. Okay. Oops. 
Hospital, roof, two floor, one floor. Nope. Nope. Again, these buttons are a little confusing. Oh no, them chibis are cute, yeah. Skill list, auto lock. Automatically focuses laser sight on the closest enemy. Attach skill. Okay. Switch list. Oh. Okay. Efficiency number shot. Okay. Bling bullet shot. Bling bullet shot. Break breakdown. Owned zero e bling up. What? Don't have any bling bullets. All right. Move activate. Speaking of shoes, did I show you my Toho score pet PB? You're almost at 1 million. Nice. Wish I could draw chibis decently. I'm actually bad at them. Uh, practice makes perfect. What is this? Okay, scrapbook? Alright, I have nothing there. Toko Fukawa. Likes Byakuya, romance novels, dislikes light novels, manga. Height 5'3", weight 104, vitals 31... I don't know what vitals means. Date of birth, March 3rd, blood type O. Ultimate writing prodigy. Former student of Hope Speak Academy and the ultimate writing prodigy. Famous as a young novelist. Currently a future foundation intern. In love with co-worker Byakuya Togami. Genocide Jack. Uh, likes adorable boys. Dislikes unadorable boys and unadorable girls. The other personality that lurks inside Toko Fu Fuku Fukawa. Excuse me. A formal serial killer that solely targeted adorable little men. Eccentric, energetic, and also in love with Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami likes coffee and French. Dislikes plebeians and microwave meals. Height 6'1", weight 150, vitals 32, date of birth May 5th, blood type B. Former student of Hope Speak Academy and the successor to the Togami group. Survived the school killing incident along with Makoto Naegi and Toko Fukawa. He's the ultimate affluent progeny. Servant. Likes beautiful things, beautiful people, dislikes noisy places and ugly people. 5-9-143, vitals 33, date of birth April 28th, blood type O. Ever since he was captured by the Warriors of Hope, he uses he serves as their servant. However, he appears to have ulterior motives. He believes hope to be the most precious thing on Earth. That tracks. The hero, Masaru Daima. Oh, oh I just noticed they don't have names. Uh, they have names in the blue part. The hero, Masaru Daimon. Wait for... Okay, I don't have to read all that. Likes soccer and vaulting, dislikes math and cigarettes. His eyes have flames in them. Hero and leader of the little war of the Warriors of Hope. The little ultimate PE, super skilled at physical activities and sports. Though he's boastful, the others rarely take him seriously. The priest, Jataru Kamuri. Priest of the Warriors of Hope. Little ultimate art who can handle any arts and crafts. Acknowledges and encourages great, being greatly disliked by his friends and himself. Likes being hated and washing machines. Dislikes himself and being liked. That's weird. Kotogo Utsugi, fighter of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate drama who used to be a famous child actor. Loves adorbs things and actively collects them. Likes peeled chestnuts and adorbs stuff. Dislikes unpeeled chestnuts and regular cute stuff. Scoping out the DOBs real quick. The Sage. Likes dictionaries and monaka. Dislikes earthworms and needles. Blood type is AB. Sage and vice leader of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate social studies, is more mature than the other Warriors of Hope and thus often plays the role of babysitter. Monica. Or Monica. Mage of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate homeroom and loves to exchange opinions with everyone. She cannot walk and thus uses a wheelchair. Likes free period and warm futons, dislikes alone time and cold meals. She was born on April 1st. Not a lot of characters in this game, huh? Just like me. Yeah, yeah Toko has serious self esteem issues, and that's why she right. clings to Byakuya. Why didn't you deny it? That <clears throat> means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought, humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. She's the ultimate novelist. 
this shutter here. We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? Hope they genuinely like each other. Who, Byakuya and, and Toko? Byakuya does not like Toko. It's impossible. There's no power. Then what should we do? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's chant it together. What? Seriously? No! Of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Uh, oh, right. Are those people... dead? So cool. Oh, this, this isn't voiced. He's dead, right? Well, obviously, you can't tell that just by looking. What are you, dense? I'm gonna be fire now. What are you doing? Are you an idiot? I'm not trying to look at the body. I, I have a fear of blood. I see. Oh, with the, you with the fear of blood. Didn't expect that. What's going on? What, I'm not allowed to have a girly side just because my other personality is a serial killer? Oh. I wasn't trying to be insulting. What? But if you're afraid, shouldn't you just stay away from it? I can't just keep saying I'm afraid. I need to overcome my fear. After all, you gain meaning in life through personal growth. Um... That's a surprisingly positive outlook. I'm gonna be fire now. To be f it's, again... You have to understand that this is a world where shit is absolutely fucked. A weird one-sided romance is like the least messed up thing in this series. Surprisingly? I thought you said you didn't want to be insulting, but I was just repeating, Master. This is not funny at all. I just can't stand it. Just the smell of blood is enough to make me faint. If Master wants, I'll give up that whole personal growth thing. Is there like an actual map for this, or is it... Oh, there is. Okay. Roof, one floor... Does look like there's rooms on the other side of these doors. Okay, and it very clearly tells you where you're supposed to go. No restroom allowed. I mean, she goes through her period, so she's been fairly brave. Yeah. Why did I turn the skull into an alarm clock so I can remind folks ahead of time? Eh? <laughs> nice. Booping me? Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna see if I can get this working with uh, the pro controller. The power's out. I don't like dark places. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Okay then, let's go. Uh, um. Toko? About this gun. Wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic to machines. Oh. <laughs> well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. This game is very odd. Uh, of course. <laughs> Oh wait, you can get out of here. Allergic to machines, what the hell? Uh oh. Okay, the aim is very generous on hitting their eyes. You do not have to be touching it. And there are folks who are allergic to machinery, it's just like other folks allergic to humans. Which way to get I guess. People allergic to other people. Never thought of that. So, okay. Hmm. Level up. I mean, that is quirky allergy. Well, it's like, what's his name? It's like Chuck in, in Better Call Saul. 
he's allergic to electromagnetism, or so he claims. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Kill him. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they wearing helmets? I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. S stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're not doing a very good job of it. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But you can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko, what's that box next to that kid? Who knows? Maybe you should open it. Time for a tutorial. I'm sure a smart gamer like you already knows this, but truth bullets are a limited resource. But there are exceptions, like move. But worrying about ex ex exceptions is no way to live. Truth bullets are replenished with item boxes, or by picking the ones up by dropped by monokumas. Other than bullets, you might find hearts to heal HP or batteries for Genocide Jack. Resupply yourself skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item, but empty of another. Ten break bullets. Giving this to us? Why help us like this? Allergies are a form of our brain's defense going, Oh no, this stuff is bad, yeah. And I wish it wouldn't because I like eating shrimp. And my brain's just like, No, don't eat shrimp, you idiot. My guess is they're carrying out someone's order. Huh? Order? Who, who cares anyway? No point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but it's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Uh, okay. Shrimp is good, though, even if they make your throat and mouth itchy. You know, then that means you're allergic to them. You shouldn't be eating them. My throat can close up if I eat too much. They're here again. Health full. How many shrimp do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimps are very rich. Pretty rich, excuse me. I've said this before, but this, that's Kara Kara Benito. That's the same group that sings the theme song, The Bug Snacks. Another tragedy, the Riot and Toa. Rampaging Monokuma robots, reportedly the same kind that were involved in the incident, are running amok through Toa City. The hows and whys are currently unknown. Evidence points to the involvement of the remnants of despair. Toa City is currently in a state of level 5 emergency alert. Evacuation is advised. Billy Milligan Royal. Royale. High school senior Sai Suna Kosaka has 24 split personalities. After an unexpected turn of events, she obtains 23 new bodies. But there's no need for 24 Sai Suna Kosaka. Sunako Sakas, the killing of me, the killing of me against me commences. Oh, well, that's interesting. I mean, cockroaches are related to shrimps from popcorn shrimp. <laughs> they also sing, "I'd rather sleep." This book is even worth throwing into the fire. Really? I thought it looked pretty good. So vulgar. I'm sure an idiot like you would enjoy it, but I only acknowledge pure literature. Don't I mean, look at this. He's using dissociative identity disorder as a plot point. The hack? Poking fun at his subjects without even considering how they feel? This is not professional. <laughs> I'm sure he's not writing about you specifically. Which reminds me. Oh, speaking of dissociative identities, I wanted to ask you something. Genocide Jack isn't going to kill me, right? I'm totally safe, right? No, she won't. She has a special thing about only killing cute men. When it comes to Monokumas, I think she sees it as breaking them, not really killing them. But 
She threatened me and told me she'd kill me. Maybe it was just a threat, or maybe you're actually a cute guy. I I'm a girl! <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. You could be lying to me, there's no proof you're not a guy. Why would I lie like that for no reason? What, you want me to show you? Proof that I'm a girl? Are you an idiot? What'd you get all serious for? I was kidding! Aww. Well, sorry, we just met. I'm not used to your brand of humor yet. Only killing cute men? Oh no, be careful, man. <laughs> Michael, no. I'm not a cute man. Hmm. I've got a full beard and a handlebar mustache, sort of. It's not actually a handlebar mustache, but I can make it one if I comb it that way. If I groom myself. Okay, wait, I gotta... Okay, that leads out. I don't want to go that way. Or wait, or do I? I don't think I can go through here. Nope. The homoerotic tension between them is real. <laughs> I'm scared of being a cute fat man now. Hey, I'm a cute fat man. I mean, I'm a handsome fat man. Fuck! Looks like a playground for those little rats. Those little bee brats. Playing around with that arcade machine before. Arcade machine. Danganronpa, another tutorial. That arcade machine those kids left just behind ain't no normal arcade machine. It actually displays a surveillance camera in the next room. The kids use the controls to work the Monokumas in that room, just like a video game. Oh, the horror. This is the life of a game brain. Anyways, this is a strategy for rooms with a nearby arcade machine. There's always a strategy. At first glance, the room next door looks dangerous with all those Monokumas around. But if you use a certain route, you could get past without getting caught. Now then, try shooting move with the arcade machine, then check next door. Haha, <laughs> he confesses the truth of being cute. Got him. God damn it. All I gotta do is shoot the arcade machine, right? Oh, look at this. Okay. Five. <laughs> Player Komaru Nayagi. There's a lot of them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. Usable truth bullet, move. Pac Man time. Yeah, I thought you were gonna manipulate this, but I don't think you are. I think this is just to see them the the room. So it looks like I just have to go around down there. And make my way through the back and out. Did you figure out the best route for getting past those monokumas? By pressing the F1 key, you could see the arcade machine's video again. But this will leave you vulnerable, so be very careful. We've gotta hurry. We don't want to be caught. Okay. Yeah, it's more of a Metal Gear thing. I can't go that way? Really? I thought I could go past there, but I can't. There's there's a door there, but how do I get through that? Hmm. There's no jump. So, hmm. Oh, I can walk over here. Okay. It was just a bit of jank, that's all. Just imprisoned in okay, time to tear off the band-aids. Imprisoned, ah. huh? 
That's an interesting backstory. But how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said okay, something that's, when That was the flu band-aid. Now I gotta take the COVID band-aid off. Toko, how did you know about me? <laughs> Don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. Ah. You caught me off guard. Well, oh. I think God, that's I painful. It's not some big secret or anything. Okay, my, arm, my arms are free now. Master mentioned you and helicopter. You mean future foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform yet. Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. This is such a cheap-ass organization. They could have at least given me a uniform. So, okay, it's worth noting, too. Man, I hate taking band-aids off. I have to snip away the hairs they pull. Yeah, I know. I just tore it off. Thought you're supposed to just leave band-aids on until they fall off themselves. Yeah, but this was just to keep a cotton ball in place after I got my shots. But I didn't bleed at all, so there's no point in leaving them on. Toko starts quite sad once you know her story. Yeah, exactly. So it's worth noting, too, that this whole thing with the future... The reason I didn't play this game before 2 is because... A big plot point in 2 is not knowing what the future foundation is and thinking it's a bad... It's like, they're like the bad guys for part of the game. So, that's why they kind of want you to play 2, 1 and 2 before playing this. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? And again, this takes place before 2. Uniform, huh? Yeah, but I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. He said, if I can prove I can control her, I get to be an official member. No, 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 no more of this. <laughs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. That is your purpose. Your destiny. But... I'm not an official member. Shh. Enough with the excuses. You are my property. I own you like livestock. Yes! I'm your livestock. My pig. Yes! I'm your pig! Oh, no. No, can we stop this, please? Repeat the promise you made. Please stop this. Uh, oink, oink, oink. No. In English, fool. I promise to never let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. You must never break that promise. Oink! 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 Oh, Lord! What's with that face? It's like you're looking at a pig. Did I look that weird? No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross at all. I didn't ask you if it was gross, I just said weird! Oh, uh, sorry. I also have, uh... Please. Even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. And even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. Oh, occult moron oh. swimming... Oh, so the other two... Give your friends nice nicknames. So all the They're survivors. My okay. My whole life I've never had a friend. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Prodding my mental wounds, girl! Okay, wait, so... The second game confirmed... Well, the... Byakuya... Uh... What's her name? Detective Girl and Makoto are all members. She's an intern. And then the swimming girl... I... And... Yeah, yeah, what's his name? Something Hero? The... The occult guy are members. So all six members of... All six survivors... Of the first game... Uh, are members of the Future Foundation now. Okay. As a fellow horny, you relate to Toko. Anyway, yeah. Who cares about having friends? I have Master Byakuya. And as long as I have Master, I don't need anything or anyone else. To actually care about someone that much? That's a pretty amazing feeling. But I got separated from my precious Master thanks to these damn riots. 
Now I'm all alone. Of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without Master or anyone else knowing. How do you Wait, sneak onto so a helicopter? Ever since then, you've been alone? Then who told you Biyaki was captured? Huh? Oh, well, a lot of things happened. A and more importantly, what are you going to do from here on? Me? Well, Gungaga. I guess there's no choice but to escape. I'll be killed if I stay in this Me? town, right? Me? Gungaga. But you... You want to look for Byakuya, right? I know that's what you want, but... But I'm just so scared. I can't help it. I... I feel so afraid. I feel so trapped. No matter what I do, I'll end up getting killed. So... Listen, I know this is an unfair request, but... Ooh, there's a dead fine. body, like, hanging back there. Huh? You want me to tag along with you, right? Fine, I'll go with you. It... it's... okay? Th there's no other choice. As a member of Future Foundation, it's my duty to protect you. It's really interesting, too, that this game... Thank you so much, Toko. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's interesting that this game just calls them Future Foundation when the second game very much established that they were the Future Foundation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, just thank God I met Toko. Sus. God, just thank me directly. Are you sure about this? What about your search for Byakuya? There's no need for you to worry about that. I've been thinking up a plan. Oh, you're right. An amazing girl like you would have a plan for sure. No point in me worrying. Hmm. But I'm glad. Why hasn't anyone mentioned Makoto to her yet? All alone. I couldn't depend on anyone else. So I'm really happy you're with me. So, so happy. You, you don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. Now, do you know a way out? I don't know anything about this city either. I don't know where we should go. You're right. We have to figure out more about this town first. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. That's right. I heard this town is on an island, which means... It's surrounded by water! Hey, Toko, do you remember seeing a bridge anywhere? A bridge? If I remember correctly, I saw a huge bridge over that way. Perfect. If this town really is an island, we should be able to escape over the bridge. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let's go to the bridge. We have to at least try. <laughs> what a relief! I was starting to lose hope. I see. Good for you. Yes, good for me. It's time for a tutorial. I'd like to introduce you to some small necessity skills that'll turn the tab battle. First, bring up the escape menu with the escape key and switch the skill screen with the Z key slash X key. Choose skills using the A, S, W, D key. Attach and detach skills with the E key. S -s -s Surprise, it appears you already have one skill. Hooray! If you attach the skill, you'll automatically lock on to the target. By finding reference books around town, you can get new skills. Don't forget to attach them to turn the tides of war. By the way, attaching skills would require skill points. Skill points increase when Komaro levels up. Pretty standard stuff. Now then, defeat a lot of Monokumas and level up quick. This filthy, shabby-looking landscape. Totally unsuitable for a noble like me. Go back in there. You're going back uh. to the hospital? Is there something wrong with you? Ooh, sick in the head. You're going back to the hospital? Okay, no, you can't. Is there something wrong with you? Ooh, sick in the head. Okay. Well, we got a map. So this is all the skills. I only have one. I guess you get one SP every time you level up. I don't know what bling bullet is. Okay, so it's like Resident Evil. All your shit gets added to the same uh, pool, or it gets added to your. Good lord. 
Sh e? No. This game, th this, this control scheme is very confusing. I don't like it. E? No. E. Holy hell, what is wrong with me? Oh, okay. I can use this as well. Alright, interesting. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be messing around with, uh, with... Did it actually save? I don't know. No, I think it backed out. I'm definitely going to be, uh, testing out control options here later on. How to kill Demon's Masterpiece number one. Since they're hard to hit them, to mush them up and fill the insides with green peppers and then feed them to your dog. Bury them in a hole so that only the, their nose, only their, wrong type of their, nose sticks out and measure how long it takes for them to die. Make a game with a friend where you snap off their arms and legs and whoever keeps theirs alive longest wins. Oh, this is about how to kill people. This is how to kill demons. This is from the, the Hope people, the kids. Get their blood with a needle and put it on a cat and then make the su a super cat demon and then kill it. Get a bunch of demon butts and then make a drum set with them and make a song, haha. <laughs> Use demons' mouth as a cage for bugs and find a bunch of bugs and save them and then kill the demon. Or kill them regular, simple as besto, yes. Okay, so I'm guessing the, the misspelled there is on purpose, because it's the kids writing this. That gaudy looking car, it's made by Toa. Can you move it with the hacking gun? Can we hack it? I don't know. Wow, that's uh that's some camera angle there. I guess I have a maximum amount of ammo, because I, I can't go above 40. Not to Kill by James Kodaka, third entry in the Hot Something series. One early morning in August, station staff Tado, who's almost made it to retirement age, is shot through the heart. Around the same time, Shuichi Tadokoro, a train nerd, falls in love. He must solve the mystery of the Tado killing. The third entry of the Hon Kawagoe series. Only those with the right not to kill have the will not to be killed. Hmm. The author is some anime nerd, no doubt about it. What makes you say that? 80% of authors write books with drugs, guns, and high school girls are in, are in them are anime nerds. It's a safe bet. Like getting your white shirt... Like knowing your white shirt is gonna get splashed when you eat curry. Um... 
yeah, putting aside the curry thing. I'm a high school girl and I have this hacking gun. Is this some anime nerd fantasy? Don't mess with me! Do not associate my master the gift my master gave you with some anime nerd imagination nonsense. Keep being condescending and I'll cut you with a kitchen utensil until only master Excuse me. Keep being condescending and I'll cut you with a kitchen utensil only master chefs have heard of. Stop it! It's even more terrifying not knowing what it could possibly be. But Seriously. I don't know much about guns. I barely know how to work this thing. You really don't have a sharp memory, do you? It sends program codes in the form of radio waves that hack the target machine. Yeah, I don't get that at all, but it sounds really cool. Jeez, you didn't get my explanation at all, did you? Which reminds me. But this doesn't work on every machine, right? I wonder why not. Well, I'm just an intern, so I don't really know the details, but I know it's a research project. Maybe it's made so it doesn't work on machines you don't need to use? Well, that's convenient, but I have learned one thing. What? Oh, what's that? This gun works as well on humans as the ray guns do in Crystal Bowie against Crystal Bowie. Wow, now that's an obscure reference. How old did you say you were? I guess I could move that, but... No? Oh, no, never mind. Huh. Looks like we can climb this if we work together. Work together? With you? <sighs> guess we don't have a choice. Do you wash your hands? Of course I wash my hands! E! <laughs> heroes up in here. Oh jeez, okay. Nice! Just need to take out one. side of this hotel what should we do it looks like we can get through right here uh, are you telling me we have to walk through this busted up hotel oh this is the worst hmm <laughs> highly anticipated body back to school oh is this um is that, that's an ability, I'm guessing? Yep. Highly anticipated body. Max HP plus one. I have four now, so if I take this off, I can put this on. But I don't really need it. I'm not getting hurt at all. Okay, so the new ones don't go in, uh... The, the ability things don't go in here. Bum, 
bump, bump, bump. What is that? Is that the Mono Mono Yashin? Time for a tutorial. This right here is a toy vending machine popular with the kids, the Mono Mono Machine. For some reason in 2, it's called the Yashin instead of the Machine. It has a Y. By shooting move at this machine, you could spin it for free just once. There's nothing scarier than free things. Sure hope nothing bad happens. Items that drop here might be useful in battle, so use it whenever you see one. It would be rude not to, I guess. Oh, I thought I could use my coins here, but I guess not. Uh, is that blood? No, those aren't gonna work. What? I think I've got an idea. Look, if we use this telephone to call the police, won't they come save us? Yeah, the no. Police? That collective of psychos that think all humans are criminals until proven innocent? That's quite a bias. Not incorrect, it's a though. Shitty idea. There's no way it'd go through. Telephones, internet, nothing. Huh? Nothing works? If they did, this whole problem would have been solved by now. Jeez, use your brain. You're seriously useless. More useless than... than a salmon that already laid its eggs. Oh, I would just splat it then. You don't have to be so mean about it. What is the big run happening, Nintendo? I want, I want them to take over Wahoo World. Again, I don't know how often I'm going to be here to stream Splatoon events, but I think it- I'll, I want to stream at least one Salmon- or one Big Run and one, uh, Splatfest at some point. There it is. Monica. Yeah! Bye. Why is it so janky here? Okay. A shooter with bears taking over? This is Splatoon 3. That one had a chef hat, yeah. Okay. All these rooms are superfluous, which means explore! Unstoppable Man by Saburu Karin. Triathlon, boxing, rock climbing, Saburu Karin tackles them all non stop. What's his newest challenge? What is the reason why he doesn't stop? And what is the single scene that will finally make him stop? If you start reading, you won't stop either. Saburu Karin's autobiography, unabridged masterpiece edition. This is written how lols types only he uses um he uses brackets instead of uh parentheses hmm. unstoppable there's no way i'll be able to do it i'm getting pretty tired <sighs> you think you're tired if you're tired you don't even, i don't even have a word for how tired i am i need a new onomatopoeia to express uh, i need a new onomatopoeia to express the sheer tiredness <gasps> You're tired, but you don't really look like it, Toko. Isn't that obvious? I'm liberal arts to the core. No energy at all. Don't mess with me. Aren't you younger than me? Telling me you're tired already? Uh -huh. My age doesn't affect how tired I am. Which reminds me. Oh hey, how old are you? Your tricks won't work on me. Huh? What? You're trying to show how young you are by comparing yourself to my age, aren't you? Trying to add old hag onto the usual insults of ugly and gloomy and smelly. Oh. Toko Stinky. Th that's not true at all. I was just curious. Doesn't matter. I won't tell you. You're hiding it makes me want to know even more, Toko. Makes me think that maybe you're even older than I imagined. Nothing. No way I'm five or six years older than you. <laughs> no way you're younger than that either. Don't mess with me. I very well could be. I wonder why they're being so vague with the character. I guess because they're vague with it in the normal game as well. G 
Gee, oh my god, look at these. They were just hung up by these bolts. It's a Monokuma! Don't come near me! Oh, the scroll wheel does work. Battery full. I have not used Genocide Jack once. Why am I getting caught on the edge of a bed? Founding of Toa City. The predecessor to the Corporation Toa Group was a small factory called Toa Ironworks, which first opened its doors 200 years ago. Tokushige Toa, who became the first chairman of Toa Group, established Toa Ironworks entirely by himself. Because iron manufacturing was a new, blossoming industry, Toa Ironworks soon dominated 70% of the market. But Tokushige Toa was not yet satisfied. He also had a hand in other business ventures, such as bamboo forests and foreign trade, and continued to show his strong will. Excuse me, and continued to show his strong will and brilliant business sense. Incredibly, from age 30 to his death at 64, he established a new business once every 20 days. Tokushige's wife, Tomoko Toa, had this to say about her husband. When I asked him why he always pushes himself, he would always say that it's for the sake of the prosperity of mankind. Without Tokushige Toa's unflagging devotion to the advancement of mankind, neither Toa Group nor Toa City would exist today. Look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I know this. This is the movie from Danganronpa 2 that you have to watch in like the fourth or fifth chapter, or the third or fourth chapter. Can't remember, I think it's chapter four, it might have been chapter five. Where are these Monokumas coming from? <laughs> Nothing in here. Yeah, this room's just completely empty. Um, I don't want to see blood. N me either. Hiccup, oh. Hit list. Demon name, Takakiks. Takakiks. Real name, Takaki Ishimaru. Hunting ground, Science Memorial Hall. A demon who is a policeman in the demon world may be carrying the item gun, so be care very careful when you hunt it. Also, its father is a super rare demon who's a former prime minister. If you could hunt it down while leaving some body parts behind, your friends are going to be so jealous. Tickle its weak spot, the sides, then kill it when it starts laughing. Oh, what is this? Hit list. It what doesn't sound is? good. Hmm? This is... Do you remember something? Right. Yeah, it's probably something the brats made. A list made so you can efficiently hunt and kill targets like you. It, impossible. Why would they do that? Take a look at this part. It says hunting grounds. And with this stupid title, hit list. It's got to be those brats. They made this. Does that mean there's other people who are being hunted by the children? Nothing. I'm not sure, but that does seem likely. But... Why would they do something like this? Why would something like this... You're right. Well, I doubt they're passing this list around to adults. Some, some brat must have dropped it. Um... If that's the case, we have to hurry and tell this person. The children know where they are. No. Your life is more important than that right now. I understand how you feel, but we have to go on. If we run into them, we'll let them know then. That's how we- that's how we have to handle this for now. I impossible. Is that really okay? Anyways... 
don't think of it in terms of good or bad. It is what it is. I see. It is what it is. Weekend's over already. Ugh. I do not want to go back to work tomorrow. Peasy. There's an arcade machine over there. And a and a mono mono machine over here. Oh, it's a bullet, okay. If we use that bomb one, maybe we can get them all in one go. Destroy them all with one explosion, uh-oh. Alright, I see. It's moving back and forth. The last room's clear requirement was to get past without getting caught. But from now on, Arcade Machine Room's clear requirements will be kill all enemies. After destroying all the enemies, the wall in the way will disappear, so you can move on. Do not enter Demon's Keep Out. All Arcade Machine Rooms have strategies that you can destroy all the enemies at once. This one is made to clear an all one by one shot by sniping the bomber Monokuma at the right spot. Of course, you could just clear them all with Genocide Jack, but if you use it too much, it might affect how that being judges you. At the top left is a hint for clearing the room. Use the only use the ammo at the top right of the screen, and that being will be impressed. Huh? Who is that being, you say? It's that being who loves you deeply. Well, anyways, I believe looking for the strategy is the best thing for smart people to do. I believe looking for the strategy is the best thing for you smart people to try. Almost forgot, if something happens and you feel like you're stuck, please choose retry from the menu. But using retry affects that being's review, so play wisely. It's all trippy. What is this? A letter? Maybe it's a love letter. This might be the last one you ever receive, so open it. You don't have to make it sound so ominous. Challenge, you want to know the password? Try asking the upside down bird. to solve a riddle we put the right answer in here <laughs> might do a handstand this is no time to be playing games like this i want to slap this brat in the face for this 
Monokumas would ambush us if I did. It's a pain in the ass. We gotta do it. Then leave it to me. This kid's riddle will be child's play. <laughs> did, did you just make a pun? Wow, that does not inspire confidence. Challenge There's start. There's an arcade machine over there. Maybe we should try using that. Please insert the password. I don't know. <laughs> Exclamation point one. Bird. Burb. Borb. Where's Toko? There she is. Oh, hey, nice. Toa Group's technical triumph, though the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history and trapped the entire world in despair, Toa City stood strong. It is often argued that the technical strength Toa City Group prides itself on was a huge deterrent in the spread of despair. The mastermind behind the incident must have assumed that Toa City's technological superiority would be too much to defeat. Experts say that the influence of Toa Group is now so strong, it could even be a deterrent against global warfare. There's a command in another stream you go to that plays a womp womp wah noise every time- oh, every time you do that. See, I don't want that power to be in the hands of the viewers, because I feel like that would, uh, get misused very, very quickly. Monoku man. I just realized it is Pac-Man on the side. It's it's What is this? Hell. No. Picture it upside down. I feel like I've seen this trick before. I still don't understand what the upside down bird is though. So it's 7734 and yeah, this trick uh this was used in the very beginning of Danganronpa 1. Well, not this exact one, hmm. but yeah, look, it's Pac- it's Pac Monokuma. The bird is the camera. Ah! That's clever. Eye in the sky, yeah. from 774. Yeah. Uh-oh. I can feel myself uh, getting feverish. Don't go this way! Hold on a sec. We're almost there. If we cross that bridge, we can get out of this town. I hope so. Yeah, I don't really trust that bridge. Oh, we got like a whole area to go through here. with it. Would that make them dead or broken? Well, doesn't matter. So cruel. Why do they do such cruel things? The toilets are save points, yep. They probably don't have a real reason. They're Shit. They're probably just doing it for fun. They're doing something like this for fun? What are these kids? You're right. When I got here, they were already wearing those helmets and marching in the streets. 
killing the adults and bringing Monokumas with them like a parade. Why do they hate the adults? Like I said, I have no idea. I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> Stop asking me about every little thing. Jeez, you don't have to be so angry. It's because you nag just like those brats. Get any goodies for that though. Imagine this one episode of an old anime where the antagonist's plan was to give a random, random kids control of his robots and turn them loose. I feel like that plot's been done several times. Skill, electric up obtained. Enemy paralysis time increases slightly after despair time. What? Wrong. Actually, wait a minute. Despair time. Well, despair time is not something I could do right now. Let's put highly anticipated body on there. I've seen plots similar, similarly to that before. Not that exact plot, but... Basically, the whole kid gets control of something that he shouldn't. And the, and the guy who's in charge being okay with it. I don't know. I feel like it's something I've seen before. Maybe I'm wrong. It's also 3 in the morning, and I'm, I'm starting to get feverish from two vaccines in one night. We did it, Toko. Just a little more. We're going to be all right. I wonder if it will really end this easily. Huh? I I have a bad feeling about this. This bridge has a, a dangerous scent. Hey! You just over there! Oh! You guys don't look like you're with those kids. Wait, no. That means you're on my side. Right? Right? She looks like she's related uh, to what's her name from yeah. the first game. I knew it. Yes. Oh, this is fantastic. Man, it's been forever since I've seen a normal person. I'm so happy. I hate this kind of guy. Just walking up and talking to a girl like it was nothing. Uh, I think this handshake is over now. Hey, how much longer are you going to hold her hand? You're like a creepy fan meeting an idol. Uh, no, it's not like that. It's just this wristband. Could it be? Were you also captured by those kids who call themselves the Warriors of Hope? Huh? And then you got thrown out here and told it was part of some game, right? Well, look! Me too! Oh. How come I have to hit these manually? Oh, that wristband. Oh, this is great. Well, not completely great. I'm already at my wit's end trying to figure out what to do. What's that say on the shirt? Dog can go like three cups, rice, dog on love. Okay. I guess I was just so relieved to see someone in the same spot I'm in. Still, could be better. I sort of understand. I'm also a little glad to know that I'm not alone in this situation. Right? Right? Oh, that reminds me. I never told you my name. I'm Yuta Asuhina. <sighs> I'm Komaru Naegi. Nice to meet you, Yuta. Okay. Komaru Naegi. What are you doing? Oh, this? If you want to really remember a name, write it down on your palm three times. Oh, I see. I've never heard of that. Oh, but seriously, it is so reassuring to finally have a friend to work together with. 
Oh, hey, by the way, who's this? She's been, um, glaring at me this whole time. Oh, yeah, oh, it's the same last Toko. name. Toko Fukawa. It's fine. You don't have to make introductions like this. Not for an outcast like me. So this person must be related to Aoi too. somehow. Going on like your lovers already. And you j just met. It, it's not like that. Well, come on. I'm sure we'd all be happier on that side of the bridge. Now let's hurry up and get out of this town. Toko, we should go too. What is it? Like I said, I, I don't like it. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, you're just being paranoid. Come on, if we don't hurry, Yuta will leave us behind. Hey! Don't just run off! Hold on! Yeah, given given his um, appearance... Let's go. His appearance and his last name, he's definitely Yuta, related to uh, Aoi. Hey, where are you going? It's the first that game. way! won't chase us once we're out of this town let's celebrate by toasting with sports drinks that's real she like follows my path exactly toko toko huh? Right away, just because things got a little screwed up. If you have the energy to swim yeah. like that, use it to move your weak ass instead. Huh? Move? Just go back to the city. This part of the bridge might be unstable as well. Go back? You want us to actually go back there? Yes, that's the only way. If you want to live, you can't always take the easy path. Sometimes you gotta take the painful ones. On that path, you might suffer and writhe in pain, but at least you'll survive. You say that as if you've experienced it before. <laughs> what? She very much has. Kids plant those bombs anyway. Damn it, if this keeps up, the whole bridge is going to collapse. The trailer is blocking the way. Is there some way we can move this? Wow, that's still counted. Okay. What's with them? Omaru, do something. All right. Let's run. Full speed. We got to run. It's going to collapse. I know. I know. Damn it. They came out again. Oh, look what they're doing.
burning your bridges. Nice. <sighs> I thought we were gonna die. Ugh, that's a drool. But with a bridge like this, there's no way we can get across. N now we have no chance of escape. No, not yet. I'm not gonna give up yet. Why are you yelling? How do I explain it? <coughs> well. With all the despair I've felt so far, I've prepared myself. And if I don't do everything I can, I know that nothing's gonna get solved. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'll swim! Oh, hey. What? Taking your suggestion, Ephraim. Swim? Yeah. I mean, my specialty is more track and field. I'm not that confident in swimming. Well, it's not that I'm not a good swimmer. It's just... There was always someone better. My sister, Owie. But now's not the time for that. Can't chicken out now. Wait. Even if you are gonna swim, it looks really far to the other side. Yeah, that looks pretty tiring. But the water is freezing, and with all the pollution, uh, there are weird creatures in there. Then I guess I'll just be extra careful. No, it's not that. I'm telling you not to try it, you idiot swimmer. D don't be a hero. He just said he's not a swimmer. Idiot swimmer? But I'm on the track team. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, this isn't the time to rush into things. Let's think this out. I'm honored that you worry about me, but I've already made up my mind. So you're just going to refuse to listen to reason? Look. All I have to do is ask for help from those future Foundation guys after I cross. Why does he right? sound so familiar? I don't know. Help. His voice actor is probably someone no common. What it takes. Someone that so we've just heard before. Wait for me until then, okay? Uh, Yuda. Hmm. Um. Be careful. If you run into any trouble, come back right away, okay? Hey, no need to worry. I'll get to the other side any way I can. We're really just letting him go? Okay. Saw. Do you seriously think that it's possible for him to be alive after that? No. No. <laughs> you gain nothing from averting your eyes from reality. So those are exploding no bracelets. We really are in zero escape again. Listen, we saw Yuta Asahina, and we saw that huge explosion. Now I have He's to tell- dead. He died. Yuta died. <laughs> but why? The reason doesn't matter. Even if we refuse to accept or understand it, it's the truth. That's Damn. reality. Clunk. <laughs> Toko probably knows that y you he's related to Aoi, too. Nothing's going to change, no matter how hard you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's enough. I I you're done crying. We should get going. If we stay here, we're going to be an easy target for Monokumas. It's, it's impossible. Impossible? 
What are you talking about? If you just give up now, you're going to die. Well, I'm just gonna die anyway. I'm like you. I'm... I'm just some normal, regular girl. I... I can't even do anything. No matter what I do, or how hard I try. I'm... I'm just gonna die here. So you're saying you're just giving up? Stop screwing around. I won't let you. You want to die, huh? Well, if you really want to die that much, I won't stop you. But are you really sure you want to die? You, you, you want to die right here? In this place? Not seeing your family or friends ever again? Are you really just going to accept that? Of course not. I want... I want to see my family. Separated for over a year. I clicked out of the window so the auto doesn't move. Know where they are. It's probably too late anyway. I'll probably never see them again. <laughs> Can't you just be a little more positive instead of giving up right away all the time? No. You don't understand. The worst despair of all comes from having hope like that. Having such strong hope and just losing it in an instant like what we just saw so why don't you just overcome that despair as well although hey, I you know just overcome it for it in your state if that's the case at least run you're saying that you're going to die anyway so you're at least prepared right if you think you're going to die at least run away if you're wrong you live if you were right then at least you die on the run and not just standing here suffering why why do you bother trying to cheer someone like me up? Like I said, I'm a member of Future Foundation, and I can't just... abandon you. But if you keep up that sniveling and crying, I'll start to seriously consider it. Okay. I'll try. At least a little bit longer. Jeez, you're such a burden. You said to just run, but what are our options at this point? Giving up. The bridge is a no-go, and there's no other way to get out of town, right? Did you forget what I just told you? You can't just give up right away. Anyway, now that I think about it, I remember a subway running through this town. Huh? A subway? Did the subway line go out of the city? Y yeah. Why would you want to leave? You saw what happened. You should have said that before! Y your bracelet's gonna well, do the exact same sorry. thing. Sorry, I just remembered it right now. And besides, there's no way the trains work. You're right. If the power's out, they definitely won't be working. We're trapped. Ugh, like I said, you can't give up so easily. Even if the train stopped working, we can get out of town if we just walk along the tracks. So don't give up. And let's go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's okay to say this, but I'll do it for you to sake as well. Jeez, you're simple-minded. Getting all riled up from a half-assed speech like that. <laughs> but still, I, the way you to die, there's no way I can just keep it secret from that idiot swimmer. Okay, so yeah, she's well aware. First, Master and I need to get out of this town. She's well aware that she's re that he was related to so Owie. where's the subway? Shit. We didn't see it on the way <clears> over <throat> here. I, I'm not sure exactly. We'll just have to find it ourselves. Well, Toko, I'm starting to think that if we work together, we can find it for sure. Stop wasting your breath on sentimental crap and let's get moving already. Toko, let's get out of here together, okay? It, it might be better if we go back to where we came out of that. It might collapse further. It's better if we don't get too close. I love being obnoxious. Anyway, let's move on.
bullet, please. Thank you. Some an urban hotel and they change it to love hotel. Okay, so we're not actually going in the hotel. We have to go up and up to the left. Oken, which I can't read what that says. The edge is like very, very blurry. This kid looks like a chop. Welcome. It's time for a tutorial. Here you use mono coins to purchase bling bullets and boosts for your scissors. First off, let me explain purchasing bling bullets. Here you can purchase bling bullets. Think of bling bullets as special add-on effects that attach to truth bullets. If you're overwhelmed by all the choices, items with the crown marks are a good buy. New bling bullets arrive occasionally, so be sure to check in periodically. Bling bullets can be attached on the truth bullet screen in the menu with the escape key. After selecting a truth bullet, choose the bling bullet you wish to attach. Each truth bullet can take two bling bullets. I've heard that depending on your combination, you can achieve a super special effect. Try out various combinations to make the ultimate blinged up truth bullet. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about boosting the scissors next. Here you can increase the effectiveness of the scissors Genocide Jack uses. Lucky for you, we've prepared a few different kinds of boosts for the scissors. However the wind may blow, you need not worry. Take as much time as you need to decide. Unlike Bling Bullet, scissor boosts do not need to be attached. When you buy a boost, it's automatically applied. Perfect for the laid-back generation. And that concludes this tutorial. Enjoy the shop! Welcome! Thanks for your business! Whoops. Why is the silhouette when I go in and out of this a poop? Welcome. I could buy pretty much everything here. Okay. Oh, and you'll buy you only have to buy them once, okay. Quality time with Genocide Jack. Pick up the Lust Gauge becomes easier. Lust Gauge increases so you could charge even more. Decrease charge time. Charge attack becomes stronger. Increases speed of attacks. Increases the combo attacks with the F button. Sold out. Thanks for your business. Thanks for your business. All right, bling up. Okay, so it says which one affects what here. So by default, it's a hundred forty thirty two. Hundred fifty thirty two. These aren't huge increases. Good. That's interesting.
largely energetically. Okay, so, oh, I can hold a lot more now. Good. I can hold 70. What's SH mean? Yuta Asahina. Boy who Kumaro and Toko met at the bridge, attempted to swim across the gap, was caught in an explosion and lost to the sea. Like sweet bean paste, track and field, dislikes math and boredom. Born September 4th. One more point and I can equip uh, Electric Up. Yep, it says 70 now for the for the ammo. Okay, cool. Koban. What the Tutorial time. If a Siren Monokuma finds you, they will summon Monokumas in the area. Be very careful not to get caught. It would be absolutely terrible. Just awful. Oh well, I guess it's a bit late for this warning. My bad. most influential corporations in the world, Alexander Magazine, a publication which boasts the highest circulation in the world, recently published their 100 most influential corporations in the world list. One second. Oh, excuse me. While groups from across the globe made the list, the unanimous first place went to the Toa Group. <coughs> the article praised Toa Group's quick response to the tragedy and their unwavering support efforts. Far and away, the greatest gift the Toa Group had given to the world was the invention of the air purifier that allowed massive quantities of atmosphere to be breathable again. Potentially millions of lives have been saved with this invention. Many Toa Group supporters have a nearly religious dev devotion to the company, thanks to their efforts against the incident. Looks like this Monokuma kid has a gift for us. Dance bullet. Time for a tutorial. It appears you have obtained dance. Dance is another kind of truth bullet. Enemies hit with it can't move or attack. In other words, they're as weak as a baby. It's a powerful truth bullet, but it's even more effective against siren Monokumas. Nearby Monokumas will be drawn to the siren hit by dance. Throw a fast-moving electric car into that party. Well, I'll let you figure out what happens after that. Those kids are our enemies, right? Why are they helping us? Dance! Wrong. Oh, I only have a limited number of dance bullets, okay. Gotta be careful. Destroy them all at once. You just picked up, and that electric car over there could be useful. All right, all right. I see what we gotta do. They all have their own little sound effects. Damn! Come on, run for it! No! 
Tutorial mission cleared. She just disappears sometimes. Um, you, are you all right? <laughs> a kid? Are you a kid? Oh. No, I'm not. We're being attacked by the children, too. I'm on your side. I see. I'm sorry. I have to always have my guard up, you know, or else I'll end up dead. I know it's pathetic, surviving by running and hiding like a coward. Huh? You, you ran all the way here by yourself? No. At first it was my whole family with me, but now I'm the only one. My parents and my wife all ended up prey to those Monokumas. If you want, do you want to come with us? I'm sure it'll be better than running alone. Tempting offer, but I'm sorry, I can't. My right leg's all torn up from a Monokuma. I can't run with just one leg. Then I'll lend you my shoulder. No. It's fine. I already let my family down. I can't bring harm to two strangers. But... What's going on? He said it's fine. We could ba we're barely moving fast enough as it is. We can't protect an adult with a bad leg, too. He has a better chance of surviving if he hides somewhere by himself. Yes. She's right. Thanks for your concern, but she's absolutely right. Correct. Well, if that's the case... Okay. <laughs> huh? What's this out of nowhere? I let my family die right in front of my eyes, and now I'm making two young girls pity me. I'm pathetic. <laughs> Just so pathetic. <laughs> Damn it. Loading screen's annoying. I'm gonna stop at the next save point because it's been three hours. Like right there. Hello? Tornado Sentai Spin Ranger. Dawn Container Salable Mellow Food. These five friends run a small, unassuming soup shop. However, the Chosen Warriors cannot stay soup salesmen forever. With the mighty storm power, they transform into Tornado Sentai Spin Rangers and battle tirelessly day and night against the evil phantoms. This is the Eye of Tornado Entertainment. Spin the world with Spin Ranger. What's going on? Why are all these books we find in this town trashy? Did everyone with good taste die off or something? Um... I'm sure the person who dropped this was just a kid. All boys have a superhero phase, after all. Don't mess with me! All boys? Don't you dare! My noble master, Byakuya, would never befoul himself with this childish crap. Hmm? Don't you think Byakuya's kind of like a superhero, in a way? Huh? What do you mean? Look, when he rescued me, his timing was so perfect. Just like a hero's. Master doesn't think of you as his damsel in distress at all. You're no Lois Lane, woman. I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. Oh, I can never be too careful. You never know who's a homewrecker until it's too late. But... I know what you mean about the perfect timing. Lots of strange coincidences lately. The Monokumas ambushed this town exactly when Future Foundation arrived to save you. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Um... Yakia said the reason they came here was because they received an anonymous rescue plea. Do you think the children did it? You're right. Wouldn't surprise me. Then the children were targeting Future Foundation from the beginning? Why? Hmm. How would I know? But it does seem to fit. So still, I can't imagine what kind of grudge they could have against Future Foundation. The only thing I know for sure is that we can't underestimate these brats, or we'll end up dead. Mm -hmm. I hope there aren't any more unpleasant surprises. I'm not going down there. I'm saving and quitting because it is uh, 3 35 and I need to go to bed. We'll do the elusive double save just to be safe.
Cool. Well, that was an interesting first stream of uh, Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming, as always. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Um, I'm going to try to be here most of this week. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be too sick tomorrow from these vaccines. I don't feel anything right now, but that could easily change once I go to bed. So if I need to, I'll take tomorrow off. Otherwise, I'll try to be here most of this week. Uh, it's worth noting that Friday and Saturday this week and Friday and Saturday next week, I will not be here. And it's very possible I might not be here Sunday of next week either. So we're looking at, a, well, Sunday of the following weekend. So it's possible that I might just not stream those days. But for the next two weeks, this is going to be the focus. I'm going to try to get through this by the end of next week. And then uh, Halloween week, which is just Monday, and then the rest of the week is November, uh, I have another game planned. And then after that is Sonic and Pokemon. So look forward to all of that and more. Possibly more. Thank you for coming. You all have a great evening. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, don't blow up or something. I don't know. Good night.